His name is one of the most well known in American history. Tonight, a descendant of General Robert E. Lee spoke to students at ECU, but his message is far different than his family's past. Nine on your side's Brandon Truitt joins us now. And Brandon, you sat down with Reverend Rod Lee earlier today. Ken, you might recognize him from his appearances on The View or the MTV Video Music Awards, but Reverend Rob Lee IV is from right here in Statesville, North Carolina, but his message is being heard around the country. We have to begin the conversation as a church and say, look, we don't have all the answers. We're messing up. Um, we need your help. Reverend Robert W. Lee IV is a collateral descendant of General Robert E. Lee. The Statesville native was recently thrust in the spotlight when he spoke out against white supremacy in the Charlottesville rallies. I think the thing that blows my mind in all of this is that talking about race in a constructive way is controversial. Lee ultimately resigned as the pastor of his church when he received backlash for showing his support of the Black Lives Matter movement and the tearing down of Confederate monuments. He now spends his time speaking across the country. We go through our daily lives, that we go to work, we go to school, wherever we are, and we don't talk about race. We, we kind of keep it to ourselves. On Monday night, Lee spoke to a group of students and staff at ECU, focusing on the relationship between race, politics, and religion. I think the relationship between millennials and the church in 2018 is very fractured. Um, if you look at how the church is responding to issues of gun violence, to LGBTQ rights, um, to the way we handle white supremacy. Lee says the church has to take a step back and reevaluate how it's treating people. During the 60s, a lot of people had to call the church to be itself again, um, to be uh, the prophetic edge of the church, like Dr. King talked about. With a name that evokes emotion in people, this Lee is focused on starting a conversation for a greater good. How are we going to engage each other in such a way that we have a healthy dialogue, that we, um, that we know that there is possibility for change in people's hearts? Because I'm not ready to give up on humanity yet. Lee is now teaching at Appalachian State University, and I asked him for one thing any of us can do to help fix race relations in our day-to-day -day lives. Lee says it's as easy as starting a conversation someone, particularly someone from a different walk of life. Brandon Truitt, not on your side.